Today, I'm excited to try out a technique that I've been wanting to explore for a while, shooting from the hip. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to try out a technique that I've been wanting to explore for a while, shooting from the hip. As a street photographer, I've heard this term being thrown around quite a bit in the conversation, but I never really knew how to approach it. So I did some research and gathered some tips and tricks that I'll be sharing with you today. So if you're interested, feel free to go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe to see more videos like this. Anyways, guys, let's not waste any time. One of the common things that I found within my research is tip number one. The first tip is to use a wide angle lens. Wide angle lenses are great for street photography as they allow you to capture more context and depth in your shots. They also allow you to increase the chances of getting your subject fully in frame, providing room for cropping in post-production if needed. Tip number two, close down your aperture. When shooting from the hip, since you can't look at the viewfinder, it is helpful to close down your aperture by using a higher f-stop like an f8 or higher you increase the likelihood of your subject being in focus even without precise framing tip number three increase your shutter speed to avoid motion in your image it is important to increase your shutter speed as a general rule double your lens's length to determine the minimum shutter speed you should use for example, if you're using a 50 millimeter lens, aim for your shutter speed to be one over a hundred for a minimum to avoid any motion in your image. Starting at 250 or higher, depending on the lighting conditions, is a good practice to freeze motion effectively. Tip number four, autofocus and pre-focus. Autofocus is excellent in modern cameras these days, but if you're using an older model or a vintage camera, Pre-focus is going to be your best shot. A rangefinder is usually one of the easiest ways to determine distance and to make sure that your shot will be in focus. The ideal range is usually between four to six feet. So if you're using a rangefinder, just remember to stay within that distance to make sure that your shot will be in focus. If you're using a higher f-stop, that range will extend a lot more. Tip number five set your exposure in advance. Since you won't be able to check the viewfinder or the LCD screen while shooting from the hip, set your exposure in advance. If you anticipate that your lighting will be changing, consider using aperture priority, which still allows some creative control over your exposure, but this will ensure that your shot will be properly exposed. Alternatively, if you just want to be all hands off and you're just learning and wanna try it out, Go auto. All right guys, bonus tip. Hand on lens, camera down, eyes up. Here are some helpful reminders while shooting from the hip. Keep your hand on the lens rather than the camera body to improve your framing accuracy. This technique will help quite a bit to make the camera part of you. Also remember to keep your camera down by your hip to explore a new perspective and to navigate busier areas more easily and effective. Keeping your eyes up and scanning the surroundings will help you visualize the scene as well as take unwanted attention away from your camera, allowing you to get closer to your subject without attracting attention.
All right, guys, so I hope these tips were helpful for you guys to shoot from the hip. Now it's time for me to take these tips and put them to the test by going to the streets. If you enjoy this content, feel free to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to join the community. Yeah, I'm gonna be creating a community here. Uh, we're gonna be a little bit street photography, storytelling, uh, cinematography, anything like that. So if you guys are interested to join that, feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys put these uh, tips to the test and um, yeah, share with me what you guys were able to come up with. I'm really excited to see what you guys were able to get from these tips uh, and yeah I might put them in the next video if you guys want anyways guys that is all that I have for you guys here today thank you so much for coming in and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out